Hello everyone, this is Tristan with a short video tutorial on how to back up your MySQL database. This will apply to anyone with a custom blog, whether it be a WordPress blog or a custom design blog, pretty much any blog or site that uses MySQL. And this is something that I think is very important to learn because you might think you're getting a full backup of your entire site when you log into your web server via FTP and get all those files and back them up, but actually you're not. You're not getting all your posts and you're not getting your comments. So this is something that you should do in addition to backing up your web server. And it's very easy as you'll see in this video and pretty simple and quick. So um, why rely on your blog designer or web designer to do this for you when you can do this yourself regularly and you know be secure in having a backup of uh, your actual blog posts and comments and such so the first step is to log into your web hosts web servers control panel and uh, all control panels for different web hosts are going to look different so um, you know yours might have some icons you know a whole bunch of icons or buttons or um, you know some might have text links like this one has um, but you're basically all going to be looking for the same thing. You're looking for PHP MyAdmin, which is the application installed in your web host uh, that allows you to back up and administer the MySQL um, databases or database. So click on the uh, PHP MyAdmin. It may have you log in with your username and password, and it'll look something like this. What you want to do is click on the database to back up. I only have one database and the databases live here um, uh, in the top left pane. So click on the database that you want to back up. In this case it's this. So I just clicked on that and you'll see the screen change. It brings up you know all of the tables of different data here which you don't have to actually do anything with. You just have to click on the export button. Once you've done that on the left part here under the export section click on select all you'll notice that it automatically selected all the different fields here for you when you click select all then under structure click on add drop table then on the bottom part of the screen click on save as file now you can name it anything you want here. I recommend you put a date in so that when you get a file on your computer, you're going to know the date uh, that you got it from, you know, the date of the backup. In this case, for this demonstration, I'll just leave it as is. You can also choose compression none, or you can also zip it. In this case, I'm just going to uh, choose none for now. And then uh, just click go. A dialog box will appear asking you where you would like to save the file. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop, which I've now done. And uh, here it is on the right side of the screen. You'll notice the name of the file is the same name here, in this case, my blog backup. And the file has an extension of .sql, which signifies that it is a MySQL my or MySQL file. This file contains all of the blog posts and all of the comments for my blog. So now I'm pretty secure in that I have this backup on my computer. So if my blog ever goes south or crashes or something like that and I need to restore it, I can do so. And the way that I would do that is I would go, I would go back into my control panel uh, and go back into PHP my admin. And instead of using the export section, I would use the import section which I'll click in here to show you and you would simply import this file to uh, restore. So that's pretty much all you need to do to back up your MySQL database. Uh, it's pretty much that easy. I recommend that you do it fairly regularly. Um, that way you can have a backup, uh, you know, fairly recent backup. And if your blog ever goes south or something happens to where something gets corrupt or something like that, you're not going to lose all of your posts and all of your comments. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. This is Tristan. If you have any questions please or comments, please feel free to leave it or leave them. And uh, I will uh, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.